Hey everyone, so I'm back here with another video. This time around I have some more toy pickups to share with you guys, and honestly, Value Village finally got more stuff in, and here's a whole bag of crap that I bought. Uh, now, I also bought uh, two graphic novels that are going to be in another video, and those are just off to the side for now, uh, but with two graphic novels and a bunch of toys here, I spent $14 and some change, don't really remember now, but I got a bunch of stuff. Honestly, for the longest time, it's been dollar store crap, uh, McDonald's toys, just random nonsense that's not anything. So it was kind of disappointing, but finally they got a bunch of stuff that actually piqued my interest, so let's just get to it. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, there is uh, good stuff in here, but there's also a lot of nonsense that I'm just going to throw out. So I'm just going to take these bags out, put them off to the side, and whatever I'm not going to keep, I'm just going to throw it right back into this bag right here, which I'm going to put on the floor uh, in front of me, just so that, well, I'll put it off to the side, just so you guys know sort of what's going on here. So, first bag here, I suppose it's the largest one. Uh, all three of these bags are priced at $2.99 each. Uh, first one here, there is an item in here that I am going to pull out that you can probably see already uh, right over there. Uh, but I'm going to pull them out and keep them for another video. Just because it is a Digimon toy and of course I am keeping those uh, off to the side for another video series. We'll get to him in the future when I do find more Digimon stuff, but for the time being, he's just going to sit there. Uh, there was a couple of uh, weird uh, Lego Bionicle pieces in here. It seems like it's just random nonsense that's been uh, stuck together by some kid. So let's just get that out of the way first. It seems like they stapled it into this bag which is kind of weird yet yeah, they actually stapled right through it uh, I'm not sure if anybody really likes Bionicles anymore uh, if this is still a thing just let me know otherwise I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, throw these out really so into the trash they go uh, there's this little frog keychain thing don't care for that that's gonna go right in the trash little army man guy with a really weird position and a pretty weird gun as well right in the trash you might be thinking I'm just trashing everything at this point uh, this here kind of interested me because I did have a bunch of these when I was younger it is a tech deck dude uh, this obviously is a spin-off of the tech decks the little mini skateboards uh, these were little uh, figures that were basically just uh, thumbs. Uh, if you can look at the back of them, uh, their heads are actually just, well, the backs of their heads are just uh, fingernails, uh, which makes it really obvious, but they were, of course, outfitted with weird things and given limbs, so they're more than just a thumb. Uh, but they have little magnets on their feet, and you can stick them to anything that's metal or magnetic, and they'll stick. And uh, their skateboards were also uh, magnetized, so they just stick right on there. This is another thing that interested me here, uh, interested me in this bag. Uh, it is a figure from Metabots. Uh, I forget what this one here is specifically called, uh, but I think that it was... I, I don't remember if there were, like, bad guys or what the deal was exactly, but I feel like I remember this being one of, like, the sort of bad guys. And if I remember correctly, he's also, he or she is on the cover of one of the video games as well, I think the one on the PS1. Uh, but I have a couple of these Metabot figures, and I've been trying to find even more of them, so very happy to add another one to my collection. Uh, what else do we have in here? some weird, very weird figure, uh, McDonald's toy from 2004, so that guy is just going to go straight into the trash, if anybody knows who he is, just let me know in the comment section below, otherwise in the trash, 
Uh, a lot more army men and whatever the hell this is. This looks like something else altogether. If that is from something, just let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, all those guys are going in the trash. We got a, another tech deck dude. Uh, this one with a beanie and a microphone. A lot of army men in this uh, in this bag here, so it's gonna be a lot of trash that I'm just not gonna care about, and all going there. We got another tech deck dude with uh, a baseball bat and a cap, and a Hitmon Chan. God, I always mix up Hitmon Chan and Hitmon Lee. Uh, almost certain this is Hitmon Chan, uh, but if I'm wrong about that, sorry, just correct me. And this is one of the Tommy uh, figures. I think it's supposed to be one inch or one and a half inch, probably one inch. Uh, and I have a whole bunch of these. I just uh, don't quite remember where I put them. They're somewhere in my room, possibly uh, down in that corner somewhere, but I'll find them eventually. Uh, but I got a whole bunch of those from when I was a kid. And then the last item in this bag is something that is actually going to be put on hold for the Digimon video that should be coming up along shortly, so you'll see that eventually. Uh, next bag here is also priced at $2.99. Uh, there was a bunch of stuff in here, but it seems like a lot of it is just uh, McDonald's crap that I am going to throw out, uh, and a whole bunch of Batman uh, this one in here is from 1990. It is a Kenner. Sorry. Lots of dust and stuff coming off of this. Uh, it's a Kenner Batman, but he's just sort of white. I don't know why they went with different colored uh, Batman instead of just making something different. Uh, but still kind of interesting, but really faded uh, paint on that. Sorry, I just really had to seize. Uh, the next toy in here, I think it's almost definitely a McDonald's toy, yeah, and it's only from last year. Uh, it's a really weird Batman that has some kind of kick action, but that's just going straight in the trash. We have another figure here that is some kind of Superman in a power suit. I uh, have no idea what the hell this is. It looks like it's supposed to be some kind of official toy, but it is really poorly done. And I think it's supposed to look like Henry Cavill, but it doesn't. It doesn't really. Uh, but that is also going straight in the trash. I have no idea what that is. Uh, this one here is from. I think it's from that. Um, Hotel Transylvania movie. If I'm wrong about that, just let me know in the comment section below. But also, just don't really care uh, for that, and it is a McDonald's toy as well, so in the trash it goes. But the main reason why I got this bag, well, before we get to that, uh, there is this weird dangly limbed wooden British guy. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell this is supposed to be. Uh, that is also going in the trash. But the reason why I spent $3 on this bag here is because it came with a Beast Wars Transformer. Uh, not in any particular form here, and I'm not even going to bother trying to put that uh, into its correct form right now. But it is, if I remember correctly, his name is supposed to be Baboom or something like that. Uh, and it is basically just a baboon. Uh, there seems to be like everything uh, included here except for maybe some of the projectiles. Uh, not too certain about that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it seems like everything uh, should be there. I don't, don't think that there are many missing pieces except for um, whatever the hell is supposed to connect here. So, okay. Um, this piece here, the accompanying piece on the other side, is missing here, so part of his chest cavity is going to be exposed. So that kind of sucks, but I do 
have this guy already, so maybe there are some missing pieces on my figure that are matched with this that I can sort of piece together. Otherwise, it's something and hopefully I can use it for trade credit or uh, just trade fodder with other people. Now moving on to the last bag, this one here was the most interesting to me. At least, uh, first item that I want to show you guys in here is nothing too special. At first, when I first saw one of these toys, uh, I thought, well, that's a pretty cool Dragon Ball Z figure. I ended up getting the Piccolo figure uh, that came out from this set. But it actually turns out that this is a Burger King toy, and it was from a line of toys that had a couple of... I think it was like a couple of different pieces that sort of uh, go on them, but obviously that didn't come with anything else in this bag here, but still a uh, pretty nice uh, sort of stylized metallic Vegeta in there. The other things in here though are somewhat more interesting. Uh, first we have these two little uh, Sailor Moon figures. One is obviously Sailor Moon there, and the other one is Sailor Venus. Sorry about the glare trying to deal with that, but again, they're Sailor Moon and Sailor Venus. Uh, not too well done. Uh, paint is kind of just ripped off at certain points, and their faces are just all over the place. Pretty much wanted to get these because they just look hilarious, and it looks like the underside of their skirts is just painted flesh tone, so it kind of makes them look like a weird lumpy thing, but, uh, yep, yeah, kind of a, a weird set of little, uh, Sailor Moon figures, but, uh, definitely interesting enough. Uh, the other two figures in here, now, I might be wrong about one of these, so do correct me if I am wrong, uh, but this is what I'm remembering it as. Uh, this here, again, only if I remember correctly, is supposed to be a butt ugly Martian. Uh, if I am wrong about that, do tell me what this actually is in the comment section below. Otherwise, from my understanding, it is a butt ugly Martian. And I'm trying to sort of figure out exactly uh, what direction his leg goes in without snapping it off, but I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Uh, there's that guy there, but he is missing, I'm assuming, some kind of uh, weapon, accessory, or something else. And the other figure that was also in this bag, last figure, and one that I already have, uh, I've been trying to get the other figures in this set, but have had pretty much no luck uh, so far. It is... A Sorry, I just blanked there really badly. It's Ganondorf as he looks in the Ocarina of Time, if I remember correctly, the uh, version of Ganondorf before the time skip, I think is what he's supposed to be modeled after. Uh, anyways, there were a whole bunch of figures that were actually put out uh, of different Legend of Zelda characters, including uh, Epona, and I think Ganondorf's horse as well, uh, from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I've been trying to get a whole set of them, and I have found a bunch that were being sold locally, but the guy just wanted way too much money for them, and I couldn't make him a decent offer. So that kind of fell through. But hopefully I can track down more of these, especially the Link figure uh, with Epona. If I could find those, I'd be really happy, but... There I go with another Ganondorf, and you might be able to see the other one that I have all the way up there. Uh, if you can even tell what that is from this distance. But it is a pretty nice Ganondorf figure, and I would really like to get more of these figures in the future. But that's it. Finally found a whole bunch more stuff, even though a lot of it went to the trash. There was an interesting Transformer. I had also seen another one that was of the Transmetal Tarantulas, but it was just missing way too many legs, so I left that behind. Uh, there were just a couple things that seemed kind of interesting, but I did leave behind. Uh, but if you want to see pictures of those, just 
check out my Tumblr. Uh, on my Tumblr, I tend to reblog a bunch of other stuff, but I also uh, post a lot of pictures of stuff that I've found interesting in thrift stores, but actually haven't bothered to purchase because of various reasons. But we got a decent selection of stuff here. Very nice to see that uh, the Valley Village that I usually go to is finally getting more stuff. Uh, but that's it. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. And uh, also linked in the description below is a link to my 500 subscribers contest. Check that out as well if you'd like. And that's it. See ya.